What's up guys? I haven't made a video in a while just because life and stuff, uh, but been playing a lot of Grey Zone Warfare. I freaking love this game and <clears throat> there's so much content out there because so many content creators just jumped on the, you know, that bandwagon of like, let me make content so I can blow up and like their advice is great. Their tips are great, but like, I feel like they're just, it's just so like, there's just so much and like this game is early access. There's really not much you need to understand other than what I find is that it's really important is the healing system. Overall, if you're coming from Tarkov, you're playing any, any type of shooter, you can kind of intuitively understand what to do. But as far as the healing system and like what you should be taking out into like a raid or when you're going out in the field, like your loadout matters as far as like what you put in your pockets, how you create different kind of medical kits for yourself. And, and I find that like more important because that determines whether you live or die. And dying in this game when you don't know what you're doing feels really bad. When you die in this game, it only happens because you're just not quick enough and you just have no idea what you're doing. And that's probably why I got a bad rap in the beginning of the game. Anyways, this is mainly for like my homies that I play Tarkov with. I want them to jump in and understand how to like do these things so they don't have a bad time and they have fun and basically unlearn what you used to learn in, uh, in Tarkov. So let's get into it. So when you first load in, you got your typical stash base, you have your, you know, your rig, your loadout and stuff like that. And there's one thing I want to point out, which I'll go over in the end in, in further detail, but in your pockets, your tactical belt and your rig, there's a lightning bolt and that's for quick access. So stuff that you can have quick access to, and you don't have to go into your, you know, your space. You don't have to tab out, but let's go over order level of importance that you should be always bringing with you. Obviously you should bring every type of healing thing possible right um so you have your bandages and you have your gauze so bandages gauze these stop bleeds okay first and foremost bleeds are always happening in this game you are always going to get shot and you're always going to bleed and that's just how it works so always bring these because you're going to be using these like 90 percent of the time more than anything else depending on what you get shot with so and how that's signified is when you're here in your health panel, you're going to see like a little square or diamond on the area that you have a bleed or a bruise. And that's what's going to help make it feel better and heal it. Next, what you're going to find is that you the bones are going to be a color as well. If you do get hit in your extremity, you need to take a splint with you. So the splint is going to heal that. It reduces the amount of stamina you have in your arms or your legs. Um, it's kind of like a blacked out limb. So make sure you're taking splints. So that's kind of like the next thing that might happen. Thirdly, organ shots. Even if you're wearing a rig, if you get shot in the chest, your lungs are going to take a beating. They're going to be bruised. You might need to either take, uh, if you're in pain, you might take painkillers. Obviously, painkillers are kind of self-explanatory, but you need a surgery kit to heal that. Like, let's say you get shot in the stomach or you get a concussion in your brain. You can perform surgery to heal that body part. Then lastly, we have blood. Blood is basically your health charges. It gives you health, right? Back down here, you have 55 total, uh, 5,500 total health. If you get below 4,500, you're going to get like tunnel vision. It's going to be like blurred vision. It's going to be weird. Make sure you're kind of topped over, uh, 4,500 so that it's not going to affect like how the, how the game looks. That's just a very quick, easy, simple, practical advice. Next, I want to go over the secure container before we get into like the meat and potatoes of this. The secure container is useful, obviously, but there's not a lot of gear in this game and you have access to this gear when you're playing and through the traders. Like ammo is not, you can buy all your ammo. Let me see. You can buy all the ammo, all the ammo you need. Like it's not in short like supply. You can get it. So I only put ammo in here so it's like leaves room for my backpack so I can take more loot. I maybe put some extra healing stuff in there but I'm just starting to think about like, nah, I don't really need it. But what I do take in my secure container because I do not want to lose and I actually care about not losing these things are keys. Keys are really, uh, really important, especially when you're first starting out and you're playing. Um, if you find a key, pick it up, stick it in your butt, like always, because it's going to be useful for quests, uh, one time use for quests. Sometimes you can unlock cool areas where they have loot boxes. Um, it's cool. So make sure you can, uh, if you have a key, uh, leather key case, that's great, but stick your keys in here, make, leave some room for that stuff. Everything else you don't need because you're going to have access to it and you're going to find it again. So don't even worry about it. Don't stress about it. It's not that serious yet. Early access. Remember that. So last thing I mentioned before, actually maybe second, <laughs> second to last. I mentioned before that you have your pockets, your tactical belt and your rig in here has my stuff that I want to take with me. 
my gauss, my splint, my blood, and my surgery kit. All you can make your own med kit essentially. You can pack your own med kit. So this red med kit has my blood in it. This this two by two has my blood and my surgery kit in it. And these M facts have my bandages and my splint in it. And it's useful because it creates more room in my you know my loadout than instead of just taking a single splint here, you know, a single bandage or you know tourniquet here, and it takes up a slot. Instead, I can just take one slot for for two. I find that really awesome. I really sophisticated thing that you can take your own type of, you know, medical kit and you can create your own depending on the sizes. I don't know how big the sizes get. I think they only get as big as two by two, but I think it's super cool and it's super different way to kind of take and consolidate a lot of your medical stuff, which I think is great and organize it your way. So remember that that's really important. So there's a reason why I have it this way. Obviously this rig is really small. If I had a bigger rig, I'd probably have more stuff in there, but there, there's a reason why I have my blood, my surgery kit, in a quick access when you're playing the game it's annoying to tab out right click you know this use tab back in it takes time and that's how you die and it's not fun so the quick access is really simple and it's really intuitive once you get the hang of it the game is super smooth and i actually really like it and i prefer it so you're gonna hit four that's the quick access key four is gonna pull up this little bar up top you have your medicine grenade and your provision Obviously, I don't have any provisions in my pocket. You didn't see any provisions, so there's nothing there. If I hit P, there's nothing there. But if I hit grenade, I did have a grenade in my pocket. If I had different kinds, I can select through that depending on how many grenades I have. If you hit the um, the H, the medicine, all the stuff I have in my med kit, in my pockets, right, in my where I consolidated it, it's in there. And the great thing about it is, is obviously you have to scroll down and then hit H again to use it. Right click to unuse it. It memorizes what you last used, which I freaking love because now I hit H again, I use my bandage and I'm gonna keep it that way because bleeds happen often. Like I mentioned before, bleeds happen more than anything else. And when you're in a fight, you're gonna wanna handle those bleeds because like I said before, when your blood gets down to 4,500, past 4,500, below it, it, it gets harder to fight, right? So if you're in a pinch, you hit H, get out of dodge, obviously, can't really run with it. But let's say you're, leaving the fight but you need to heal like your leg or something like that you hide you hit your quick access you hit h again and you scroll down to your splint you hit h now you have to remember that your last use it memorizes your last use so if i hit h again it's gonna pull up the splint so what i'd like to do is just hit you know the medicine go back when i'm done healing hit h to get your gauze out so that it remembers gauze so you're always on gauze here's a really cool thing too when you're inspecting your friends, the reason why I have my surgery kit and my blood, even though this is something I can tab out of and I can just use it myself, this is good to have to give to your, your friends if they're in a coma. So you don't have to do the same system with the quick access. It'll pop up for you when you're playing. So that's really cool. But if you don't have it in your quick access, we learned the hard way. If you don't have it in quick access, your your friend's gonna die. Your friend's gonna lay there and die when he's in a coma and he's bleeding and he has no idea what's happening, so you have to inspect him. So having that in your pocket to give him blood at least to then just perform surgery to give him more blood, whatever, is really, really, really important. Really practical tips. I hope it was very simple to understand. Like I said, playing this game a lot, I really love the potential and the direction that it's going. And then here's, here's an extra tip. Here, here's something cool. You don't have to pull things off to change stuff you could just simply drag and drop and it'll switch it automatically there you go here there's an extra tip i hope you like it i'll see you guys on the next one and i'll see you in there